Good morning, everyone. It's September 9th, and it's a beautiful morning in Grandview. Hope you are all doing well. I have a little information for you for today. Um, as you can see on the screen, there's some topics of discussion. The first one is attendance. Whether you're excused or unexcused, the expectations haven't changed. If you're going to the dentist or you have um, uh, no power at your house like what we had yesterday, it's very important that your family still call and excuse those absences. You will be considered unexcused if you do not log into Zoom and our state uh, expectations for attendance continue. Um, so please understand attendance is not any different whether we're face-to-face -face or in remote learning. Now that was different last spring, but it's not the case anymore. You're expected to be in every class every day. You know, that's been my model this fall, every class, every day. I do wanna talk about Zoom bombing. Um, parents, if you don't know what that is, um, the students can tell you. Basically what happens is they get the link to someone's Zoom meeting and then they um, do either appropriate or inappropriate things in class. Um, attaching a video, doing a meme, um, or just talking nasty or rudely in the class. I want to let you know that this is a discipline issue and you're also, um, because you're online, if the, um, depending on the severity of what's going on in the Zoom bomb, the police will be contacted because it is, um, you know, there's uh, federal laws relating to the internet and so forth. So understand that Zoom bombing is not acceptable. Uh, we have disabled chats. Uh, we have disabled possibly changing your virtual background. We have um, added hosts so that you can't get in the room unless you put your your um, legal name or your uh, Skyward name is in the, in the waiting room. Things like that. So parents know we're trying to protect your students. Students know it's not acceptable behavior. Next thing is grades. Grades matter. We're going to have our first progress report coming out next week. Um, we want to let you know that it is still remember the A, B, C, D, F uh, grading system. Um, and you are being held accountable for those grades. Homework is daily. Um, you may ask, it seems like I have a little more homework now than we did before. That's because we have to have a way to check that you're doing your work every day. Hopefully the homeworks are the homework that you're doing each day is, I don't want to say small, um, but not overwhelming. Um, but there is a lot of work when you work online. Um, I'm taking some classes online and there's all kinds of things going on. And online work is often harder or more time consuming than in school work. Think about it this way, students and families. You were in school seven hours before, you had a half hour lunch and a little bit of passing time. Really, you should be doing about six hours of schoolwork a day. That seems strange sitting in front of a computer and we're not asking you to do six hours in front of a computer every day. We're asking you to do about two and a half, but that means additional homework each day. Finally, students um, and family, I want you to know that our Skyward our grading system and attendance is not communicating well with Canvas right now. We are working on the backside with the Canvas organization and Skyward to figure out why they're not syncing or talking every night at midnight. So stay tuned. Um, parents, if students are saying, I'm doing my work, but it's not showing in Skyward, bear with us. Um, ask the students to see their Canvas assignments that they've turned them in, and we'll get this working in the next few days. You know how to reach me, email or phone, uh, cell phone, uh, work cell phone, 509-790-1578. You can always call the school number and get a hold of me that way. Stay safe, stay healthy, and mask up. See you all later.